recently I was scrolling through Instagram and I found a post that was completely idiotic, a, a post that I just couldn't believe uh, what I was watching. And I have to talk about this because this is how crazy our society is going. This is how crazy women think and this is how crazy men think. And so I'm, I'm sitting there scrolling through the phone just in awe, reading the caption, looking at the video, looking at how elated the individuals are in the, in the video. And I just can't believe that we've stooped down this far in society to where we have to uh, accept these type these types of things. We have to accept uh, and that these things are recorded for us to see. What I'm talking about specifically is, and before we get too far into this video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video. There was a woman that was pregnant and she's showing like she's not like she's six months down the road six months down the road pregnant clearly showing belly is bulging and she has these two guys at a baby show and the captions are, are flowing and they aren't flowing as soon as the video starts because it's just them, the two guys and the, and the woman, the pregnant woman, you know, being happy, being elated about the situation, about the baby. So I'm thinking, you know, these guys are, you know, one's a daddy or one's the daddy or one's the uncle or one's the, you know, their friends or, you know, brothers, something like that. But it turns out that the woman didn't know who the baby father was. And she brought these two guys to the baby shower. It gets worse. Not only did the video show them and caption that, but they also captioned that the woman had a threesome with these two guys. Now, the terminology goes like this. It's not a threesome. A threesome is one guy, two women, or one guy, multiple women. A train is one woman and multiple guys. So she had a train ran on her and by these two guys. And she doesn't know who the father is, so she invited them both to the baby shower. Think about that for a second. And this is a recorded video, so it's going to stay up a while. It's going to stay up forever. And Women just, they just don't have any long-term thinking. Like this is an embarrassing situation that you wanna keep under wraps. This is not something you plaster all over social media for everybody to see and make comment for it and make judgments on it. First of all, it's embarrassing that you don't know who your baby father is. Then it's, in, uh, it's embarrassing on the other hand that you had a train ran on you with two guys having sex with you at the same time. And then the other thing is your child is going to grow up and ask you who the father is or who his dad is. And you're not going to know. You're going to say it's two, it's one of these two guys. How does that fare with the, the kid's head? But this is how unstructured the, the household are. See, I was watching Charleston White, his, one of his recent uh, interviews, and he said, you know, 
he said some of the realest shit. It sounds fucked up, but it's some of the realest shit he ever said. We can recover. A family can recover if daddy is fucked up. But since mother rocks the cradle, since mother is the first teacher, since the mother is the first influencer of the child, she has control of the child mentally. She has the ear of the child. If she screwed up, everything in the family is screwed up. Everything. Everything is going to be destroyed if the woman is not in order. The whole family structure collapses if the woman is not in order. We can recover. Dad can get strung out on drugs and recover and have a good life and have a good living and come back and provide for the family and be a better man and protect the, 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 the child and the, the mother. And usually that's what it takes is having a child for you, the guy to wake up and get his shit together. It makes you focus. And I've, I've heard stories like that from older men where they get focused when they have children because it's not about you anymore. Since it was a, about you before, you could do whatever. There was not really any big consequences. You weren't uh, accountable for anybody besides yourself, maybe your friends. But this just goes to show you how the standards in our society are going, how unstructured our society and the family structure is, how the cracks are beginning to show in the foundation of what we call America. All of these things are being pulled into one to serve as evidence as to how stupid our society and how stupid dating and relationships has gotten. Completely appalling, absurd, embarrassing. And for her to just feel comfortable posting that on the internet, for these guys to feel comfortable enough to be around with a, a a kid that may or not may or may not be their child is concerning to me. How these individuals are thinking about the situation. So for them to post this, for them to be happy about this, that means it must be a norm at some level which is an even more startling fact. If people don't have the, the, the chastity, for lack of a better word, to hide these things, if they're openly displaying them, that means it must be a norm, which means what? This behavior goes on more than we would like to know. Where, see the bar just keeps getting set lower and lower and lower. Where do we go from here? You guys comment your thoughts, like, comment, share the video, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, if you like my channel. You guys have a good day, good week, stay focused on what you gotta stay focused on. Do you? See you in the next one, man. Peace.